Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and today I'm going to show you real quickly one of my favorite new features in Ableton Live 11, and that is the ability to use take lanes and comping in order to create your perfect take uh, of what it is that you have recorded in Ableton Live. Now this was a feature that was not previously in Ableton Live. It's new in Ableton Live 11, so if you want to check it out, make sure to go to ableton.com. You can get a 30-day demo of Ableton Live at ableton.com to check this new feature out and many of the other new features in Live 11. So what are take lanes? Well, simply put, by making use of takes in Ableton Live, we can create a perfect take from multiple audio recordings. And this is something that uh, you probably used in other digital audio workstations times in the past. And it's something that folks have been asking for in live and it has arrived. So what I am going to do is just show you a quick way that I'm going to record some audio in live and then create a compiled final take from a couple of different recordings. Now I have a drum rack loaded up here with a couple of different drum clips on it. Let me play them for you. Now those are pretty different as you can tell by listening to them, but I wanted to have two very different loops to use to just juxtapose between the difference between those two for you so you can see the difference uh, between them. Now I'm going to jump from session view into arrangement view. I'm now in arrangement view in live, and this is where you'll be making use of take lanes. Now this is going to be the much more linear uh, part of Ableton Live. As you probably may know, or maybe you don't know, Ableton Live works in two different modes, and that's non-linear music production, which is done in the session view, which I'm in right now with clips, and then the more linear view, which is done in the arrangement view. Now in arrangement, this is where I can record audio onto one of my tracks and then start to create my final take. I'm going to arm this track for recording that I have right here, and I'm going to record just the loopback audio of one of my drum loops onto this track, and then I'll record another one and we'll make a comp. So let's do it. I'm gonna hit record and record that first one. So that's my first, and if that was something that I was happy with, then I'd be just fine. I can move about my business and continue producing my song. But let's say I want to make use of another audio recording in order to maybe fix a part that I flubbed or try a different performance or something like that. Well, I'm going to use take lanes for that. Now you're going to notice that right underneath this audio track that I just recorded is a lane. Now I can uh, listen to what is on this lane by clicking on the speaker icon that is on it. And this is right now, this primary lane is just a copy of what it is that I just recorded onto this track because I haven't yet recorded anything else. But I'm going to record my other drum loop now and I'll show you what it looks like when a new take lane is inserted as a result of that. So let's go ahead and do All right, so now look what happened. On my top audio track right here, my primary track, what I've just recorded has been promoted to the top. It's taken over as the primary recording. Now there is also a representation of it, however, right down here on a new take lane. So I have my new take lane and my new take that I've done. I have my previous take, which is grayed out right now because it is not active. My new take is the active take both on the top and on my take lane. But let's say that I wanted to take pieces of my first uh, production, my first performance right there, and use that to create my final take. All I need to do is engage draw mode in live, and that's done on by making use of the draw mode, the little pencil icon on the top right hand corner here. And now when I put my mouse over this first take that I had done, I can left click and drag and draw in order to create a new comp on the top track, which makes use of the piece which I have highlighted by making use of the draw tool. So now I've promoted a couple of pieces of my first performance up and onto the top track. So anything that is highlighted has, has been promoted to the top. Now if I put my mouse on the edge of that, I can resize that. And this allows me to go back to just my original take on the top track. But I can left click and I can drag and I can make this bigger, or smaller, however I may wish. And I can also do that on my second take 
and I can resize in order to find the perfect take. So if I know that there's certain parts that I wanted to perform differently, maybe I flubbed a part, whatever that may be, I can start to create my final take by doing this. So now I've put together my two takes and let's play this back and see what it sounds like. So that's pretty cool. All I had to do was use my draw tool and draw in what it is that I want to keep. And the cool thing is that I can also do this while I'm live playing as well so I can listen and experiment. So it's really fun for being able to take multiple performances and just play around. Again, one of the beautiful things about Ableton Live is the ability to work very, very quickly and create new musical thoughts and performances on the fly. So I can do that while I'm just simply playing back and making use of the draw tool. So I love this feature because it's something that I know that folks have been wanting to make use of in Ableton Live for quite some time, and it is new in Live 11. It is something that is incredibly useful for when one is recording vocals, uh, but really also any other instrument, because it's really nice to be able to just simply record a take, record another, record another, and do this multiple times over and over again in order to get the perfect take and be able to really dial it in. It can also save you a lot of time in the long run as well, because that way you'll be able to make use of all those different performance pieces and then get everything just right. So there you have it. That's making use of take lanes. One other thing I should mention is that you can insert a take lane if you wish by right clicking on the track header and selecting the option to insert a take lane. You can also delete a take lane or a take entirely if you wish by right clicking and selecting the option to delete that take lane. If you wanna hide your take lanes, you can also just right click on the track header and click on the option show take lanes to hide your takes. And if you want to show them again, then you can right click and you can select the option show take lanes and this will show all of your takes. So once you're done putting your take all together, then you can right click and hide your takes and that way you don't have to take a look at those while you move along and record other tracks in live. So there you have it everyone, that is making use of take lanes and comping in Ableton Live 11. I hope you found it useful and cool. And as always, if you would like to learn Ableton Live from us at Obedia, you can dial us up at obedia.com. Give us a call, find us on your favorite social media network, and sign up with us to learn Ableton Live from one of our digital audio professionals and help you to tame your technology, get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, because that's what we do best at Obedia. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using... All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.